the Wendy Williams Show. Come on. why we're still dwelling on Chris Harrison because I thought he was already fired or quit or something or landed his um, white man money parachute <laughs> to recover from this and get back in Hollywood. Well, it turns out he did number three. Yep, the parachute. They said he's gonna be getting an eight figure salary. That would be somewhere between 10 million and $99 million. Uh -huh, that's what, yep. Okay. And, and ride off into the sunset. In my guesstimation, and we were talking about this during our, um, I know. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> so ridiculous. I like him though. There's a lot of stretch and stuff and Will made the ring where it fits over the gloves and junk and nothing like a snake bulgari watch to really just, you know. Yeah, yeah, because it fits over anything. Uh-huh, well, no, I'm just saying, but my bracelets are still underneath. Oh. I don't take them off. <laughs> so I had to fit the, you have no idea the fight I was having with my arms. <laughs> anyway, my guess is that, and I think we all agreed on this in our morning meeting, he's gonna get somewhere between 20 and maybe $30 million. Uh -huh. Yeah. So much. Yeah, well, you know what? So much and so long. Canceled people end up getting more money. And I really, I don't even like the canceled culture. Norman loves it. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's not called canceled culture, it's called who's next? We're building another one. He, right now, he's canceled. I, I mean, yeah. With that good old skin, he'll be able to come back in uh -huh. about three years and yeah. he'll host like a game show or something for the same $20 million that he's getting from ABC for this show. So he's dating this girl, her name, uh, well, Chris is, how old is Chris? Chris is 49 years old. And how old is Zima? Lauren Zima, I think she is, um, I don't actually don't know. Well, I recognize her, she's uh -huh, from Entertainment her. Tonight. Yeah. Lauren, I'm not saying anything, I'm just, all right, I'm saying something. <laughs> you know why? No, germs. Um, I feel like, like I wanna scratch my face. You know I'm always scratch, no. But okay. Uh, she's 33, they tell me, in the control room. So, and he's 40, whatever. 49, yeah. Nine, okay. Um, Lauren, I would suggest that you gently break up with him in the name of, I'm not involved. I'm only 33 years old. I've had a good job with Kevin Frazier for years. And I don't wanna be involved in your racist rants or, or whatever you do. I don't know. And then you know, men can't really handle being unemployed, they get angry. So now, even though he's got the 20 or $30 million that I predict in my mind, 
he's gonna be miserable at the mansion. She's gonna be leaving to go with Kevin Frazier to do the gossip on the show. And when she comes home, he's gonna be like, where were you? Well, Chris, afterwards we all went out for dinner. And then we went to Clive Davis's. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> right. And I'm sorry that you're not invited. Look, in the name of whatever you feel about, Suzanne, do you know what I'm saying? I know what you, she needs to, uh, yeah. Before like I her love, name is tarnished in any way. Her name is tarnished because yeah, she, she is out. with him. Yep. And they've been together for a moment. Mm -hmm. But they have no children. Nope. And so, yep. and you know what? Chris was replaced with um, Caitlyn eh, and Tashia. Tasha. <laughs> you can't be perfect in every way. Tasha and Caitlin are doing a great job, Chris, and they're, they're hosting The Bachelorette right now. Now, when we go on to Bachelor in Paradise, that'll be David Spade and other comedians. By the way, here's what made me, all right, and please tell me the truth, co-host. Clap if you watched The Bachelorette the other night. Oh, Ooh, two people. Yeah, it was one yesterday. And two today. However, however, it's being reported, probably by ABC, that the ratings haven't suffered. Yeah. Oh. But you know, people, you know, stack the deck. <laughs> the ratings are good. But here's what made me uncomfortable. And sir, ma'am, you're hidden behind the camera, so I can't see you. But I, he I heard you clap. But sir, I see you in the, in the lime green shirt. Do you remember when these two girls were um, waiting with uh, Katie, Katie yeah. outside of the cars coming up? One of the girls said, do your best, and patted her on the butt. Okay. Yeah, 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 with the Me Too? Like, I don't want a man or a woman patting me on the butt. Uh -huh. Like, I looked at that like, oh, ABC, call up Chris Harrison and put her over there with, with him. Do you recall her being patted on the behind? I was walking out of the kitchen and I saw, and it was like double take, and I thought to myself, I don't know how they know each other, so. No, they know each other through being on the same show. I know Suzanne, uh, she doesn't oh, pat you, me, no, I don't no, no, pat no, her. No, you, no, you, no. No, but do you know what I'm saying? And yes, absolutely, yeah. It's just, it was a little too familiar and friendly. I just found that weird and awkward. But they taped the whole season, so I guess we'll be seeing more of that. Well, uh, I don't know. Yes, keep yeah. your hands to yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. And never leave fingerprints. Oh, yes, yes! 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 <laughs> okay, so there's a man that has always had a problem with me, and I only had a problem with him because he had a problem with me. Oh. And then he bought a big dog and he named the dog Wendy. Oh. No, and he, and he let it be known that it was after me. Oh. So um, somebody in our morning meeting said, well, I would consider that an honor. I said, no, 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 he didn't mean it as an honor. <laughs> However, I take my name raised up wherever I can get it. I was very flattered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cat likes dogs, it was a big dog with long hair. And he called the dog Wendy. <laughs> called the dog Wendy Williams. That, I wonder if he still has her. Oh, I don't know. No clue. Well, anyway, here's where, um, and Kat, by the way, we're all older now. You know, we've known each other a long time, not in person, but just through mess. Uh, I'm not fighting with you. I'm just telling a story. And by the way, I understand what you're saying. Now, Cedric, I love you, but I understand what Kat's saying. Cedric, are you stealing jokes from Kat Williams? Well, Kat was on um, Head Crack's show called Morning Hustle. Mm -hmm. Hey, Head Crack. Take a look. 
Well, it went in a miss. Welcome to Subway Clean. Ice spray? Every chance I get. Starts working instantly to freshen any room for breeze air. Chili happened to me, it, it, it crushed me just because um, the comedian was already bigger and more famous than me. And he took my closing joke and made it his closing joke on Kings of Comedy. To see my joke being there and not me um, was about as disrespectful as it gets in our craft. And um, I really took it really personally with Cedric the Entertainer at that time. I understand. The thing about um, Cedric is Cedric knows how to blend in and go along and still hold up his manhood and his, you know, kings of comedy. Isn't he on CBS? Yeah, he's at, on The Neighborhood at, at, at eight, eight o'clock. Every Monday mm -hmm. night. If I were Kat, I'd be mad too. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be mad too. <laughs> and all the kings of comedy went on and did well for themselves. I made up with D.L. Hughley. D.L.'s doing a great job. Um, Steve Harvey, doing a great job. Um, rest in peace, Bernie Mac. But, but Seti is doing a great job. And the thing about Cat Williams to me, if you know com you know who I'm talking about, right? All those comedians, those are the greats. Wake up. I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> Cat Williams is not daytime friendly. He's not TV friendly, like he's not that guy. He's the guy that you go to see after midnight when you're full, yeah. okay? <laughs> and by the way, there might be three fights breaking out in the audience uh -oh. mm. while he's still telling jokes. Oh. <laughs> he's definitely for, for um, late night comedy, I agree with that. Well, he was just never able to blend his thing over. You know, he presses out his hair and he's got the tattoos and... <laughs> God didn't say this, Kat, cause you know I'm tall. That's where you get your jokes, I guess, from. But um, I'm not 4'11". Oh. And, and sometimes, no, 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 no. Cause sometimes a little man gets a Napoleon complex. Do you understand? Yes, absolutely. Do you understand? It doesn't matter how many girls he gets, how many times he curses me out, how many times he does this or that or whatever. The point is, is that said he's winning, I guess off your jokes. That's one of the most insulting things you can do as a comedian is steal jokes. Look, we sit here on daytime, people steal my style all day long. You don't think I see it? I see it. I see it. Yeah. Suzanne, you know. I know, oh I know, I see it. We talk about it, we know. We talk about it behind the scenes though, we're not on social media. Yeah, exactly. Name and names. Yeah, exactly. Cause we can name names. Oh, we can. All of them. Lots of them. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All day. <laughs> Try this. <laughs> Anyway, Kat, you know what? Can we do an olive branch? No, it's time. Like he's still young enough to be funny and he, and he could play like somebody's dad on a sitcom or something or, or, or even not that, but just, I would like to have a sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And Kat, I mean that in the best way. Is Wendy Williams still alive? <laughs> anyway, Kat, just let's make up, even though I have no idea. What are we fighting about? I have no idea. <laughs> but you know who Wendy Williams is? I, I have heard that before. <laughs> and it was insulting. Yeah, very insulting. Right. But, you know, you have to make lemons into lemonade around here. <laughs> right. You can't stay sad for a long time. So Kanye, I know, I know, I know, I know. Just relax, okay. <laughs> Kanye um, has a deal with The Gap, a little partnership for a limited edition. And the Yeezy Gap, that's what they're calling it. It was released yesterday, excuse me, it's sold out. 
it sold out so hard, even Willie couldn't get it. Oh. It's okay though, but I have, a, I have a blue ivy coat this color. Like how many times can you wear this color? Or at least here in New York. Like you don't wanna stand out that much in the crowd. Right. <laughs> bright, blue, bright blue puffer. 200 bucks, which is a lot for the gap, but not a lot to get a collector's piece. If you get, oh, and they're making a big deal over that it has no buttons and no zipper. Well, that's called Norma Kamali copycat. Okay, that's called the Norma Kamali puffer coat, legendary for decades. There's no buttons, no zipper, you wrap it like this, and all girls love it. And what the hell is this on his head? I'm not that comfortable with the jacket, though. No, no. You gotta be a particular type of guy to wear a jacket like that. Look, it's short. He's got the weirdo mask on. Look, he showed the coat off last week when it's 90 degrees. But you know what? If we were actually able to get the coat, I would wear it in 90 degrees. I'd just roll my panty shorts even tighter. You know, you just wear it, wear it once. On a chilly summer night. Oh, yeah, like on the Hudson River with mm -hmm. the, you know, mm -hmm. the, the wind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> so Kanye's birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Kanye. Oh. Uh, Chloe posted a picture and wrote, happy birthday to my brother for life. What? Exactly. What? Exactly. What? But she doesn't really know the light like the other girls do, you know? Chloe's a particular person and she's invented herself into somebody else. I don't think this is appropriate. I don't, and I'm sure that Kim approved of it, but I still don't think it's appropriate. Like, you girls should have talked about this more. Like, stop. We don't care. We just, when's the last episode? Of, of what? Of our show? No. Oh, of it, their it, show. Excuse me, we go on until we don't. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. Right. Now, when's the last episode? The last episode is, uh, series. oh, it aired last night. No, it airs Thursday night. Thursday night. I don't Tomorrow even know night. what day today is, but. Okay, okay. Well, I'll yeah. watch, probably with a tissue. Yeah. You know, because they'll show everything from black and white to, you know, the coloring on this TV. They, they know how to be very dramatic. And then they play that music. Ding, 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 ding. And you're like. <laughs> and you're like, oh my gosh. We know these people. Uh, anyway, wrong, Chloe. Hey, Tristan. Hey, Kanye. Hi, Kim. You're still winning. Unanimously, and I mean other than me, unanimously, the entire bureau cannot stand <laughs> stiletto crocs. They're terrible. Now I'm like, what's Yule's problem? Uh. Oh, it, 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 excuse me? I don't even like crocs, period, but I don't mind them if they're big enough. Like Michael Lee may be a great pair, but he put how you doing in the feathers and stuff and I wear them around. I'm like, ooh, look at my feet. But um, Crocs teamed up with Balenciaga. Does that all of a sudden make it better for you? I don't know the price, but um, the platform Croc, which is hella ugly, uh, in 2017 sold for $850. Now see, this one I wouldn't wear. I'm not a platform girl. I don't need all that height. But I just figure, like these Healy Crocs, like I would, t I would take the black, right? And get them in like in a size 12. You know, because cro Crocs are comfortable. I wouldn't, wear, I wouldn't wear them coming out the double door. Yes, I could do that. No, I'm saying, those don't look comfortable. You're walking on like what looks like a nail. <laughs> Now. <laughs> well, as Morel would say, some things are for editorial and some right. things are for practical walking. Right. Now, quite frankly, I would love the pair of these black Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> I, clap if you like them. You don't have to agree. Okay. 
Okay, three people. <laughs> We've got no fashion sense. Alas, we must power on.